Hey everyone, so I have another DVD to talk about and this is a Coronation Street DVD and this is Out of Africa. Now if you saw my Coronation Street Romanian holiday DVD, you know that I paid a pound for that and indeed I paid a pound for this, believe it or not in Poundland. This is actually, this one actually has a sleeve, the other one didn't. This has a cardboard sleeve which I do keep it in just for the fun of it really. And when I, I'd watched the Romanian holiday one first and I was like, really good, looking forward to the next one. And then when I watched this one I thought, this one could quite possibly be even better. And it is really good. It focuses on the, the Battersby family, which of course you can see on the front there. Well, kind of, Battersby family. And Scylla, at this point, this is about three years old, and Scylla had moved away already. And she phoned up Chesney and said, oh, do you want to come and spend some time with me and Les? Chesney thought she meant Les. As in, Les, Les. You know, unless you help bring up Chesney Les. Turns out she meant her new man Les, um, who is, if you can see him there, he's South African born. And his name just happens to be Les. But Chesney and Kirk go over there thinking they're going to spend time with Scylla and Les Les. But instead they turn out that it's Scylla and this new Les. As he is often referred to as the new Les throughout the, the, the movie, which is quite entertaining in itself. But Scylla didn't just want them there for a holiday. She's scheming, as Scylla always does. She's entered them in a competition to win, I think it was half a million pound, for the perfect family. And the Duke, obviously it is in Africa, but I think families from all over could enter because I was an Australian family and a couple of other families there. And she enters them in this competition and they made the final three. They'd made the final three before Chesney and Kirk were there because that was like the sort of the, the paperwork rounds. And then the final three was getting to meet the families, talk to them and... Then they choose the winner from there. But what actually got them to the final three was the fact that Scylla had said that her sons were disabled. She said that Chesney was wheelchair bound and that Kirk had the mental age of an eight year old. <laughs> which, it's not something to laugh about. Of course it is, it's a serious matter because of the illnesses that people have. But they really played on that fact because we all know Kirk is a bit dim. He's a bit, not immature, but just not all right. So he played on that quite well, and the fact that he... It just added to the humour, it worked really, 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 really well. But, about halfway into it, we learn that she'd actually entered Fizz in it as well, or Sister Fiona. She wrote down that Fizz was actually um, a non-teacher to, you know, un underprivileged kids, which is explaining the outfit there. And is, are they going to manage to get Fizz roped into it? Will Chesney and Kirk play along with being disabled? Will they actually appear as a happy family? Will they win? Are they going to get along? Is Scylla going to just do something really dodgy and, you know, cheat to win? I mean, she's cheated already, but is she going to cheat at the final hurdle? So many questions, so much going on. But the main thing is, it's funny. The plot is brilliant. You will laugh all the way through. It is absolutely fantastic. At the beginning, like the first five minutes, it is set in Coronation Street. Like you have Chesney and Kirk getting ready to go away and things. And I actually thought it was, I thought Scylla had been gone a lot longer than she has been actually. I mean Tina, Tina's there. Um, Michelle Keegan, Tina's there. A um, couple of other characters at the beginning. But mainly it's just those in it. But it's absolutely fantastic. Obviously the main cast is there. Wendy Peters um, as Scylla, Jenny McAlpine as Fizz. Sam Aston and Andy Wyman as Chesney and Kirk. And when you watch Chesney now, you think, goodness, he's grown up a lot. But then when you look at this, and this was three years ago, he doesn't actually seem to have grown that much in three years, even though it feels like he has, which is really weird. But yeah, this is absolutely fantastic. It's about an hour and a half long, just a bit over. Definitely worth for the watch. As I said, a pound. So try out your local pound land if there is one near you. But if not, it's only a couple of pounds on Amazon. Definitely worth getting hold of. Really fun, really entertaining. Perfect for Cory fans. But even if you're not a Kari fan, I think you'll still follow it and still enjoy it. Please feel free to leave comments on this or anything else. That's it for just now, so I'll see you all next time. Bye!